What's going on guys? Tanner Flowers here and I've got laid out before me quite a few fishing rod and reel combos and for the past several years we have been exploring the creeks right here around our local Cleveland, Tennessee area and I have narrowed down which rod that I prefer using the most out of all of these and I've also been making some custom combos and I'm getting ready to set up a new one right now. Wasn't even planning on making a video about this but I have had a few friends ask me in recent weeks, Tanner, I seen that short rod and reel you're using in those creek videos, man. What was that? So I'm gonna go over all of that information with all of you right now. And first and foremost, I'm gonna bring you over here on this side of the counter and show you exactly what I've got laid out here before us. I guess. I'm in here trying to make a fishing video for you guys, and she's in here telling me how this uh, ain't a filming studio, it's a what? I don't even know what you're recording. Yeah, tell them what it is. Tell them this ain't no filming studio. What is it? It's a kitchen. <laughs> God. You better not put it on there. Yeah, I'm putting this no. on here. Here. Rubber glass is pretty good. There's a clip of this going in the video. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This ain't a cooking video. I was already filming. You came in and interrupted. Shameful. That's disrespectful. People are trying to learn. They want to take their kids fishing and stuff. I'm trying to help them. You just barge in here like you own this place. What was that? <laughs> I did go ahead and take the time to make a few note cards so that we could all see more clearly exactly what we have here before us instead of having to get down here and try to read that tiny writing on the side of the rods there. So this right here is the first smaller combo that I ever ordered and it's the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2. I followed that order online with the Zebco Dock Demon. It is recommended to use 666 yards of line when fishing with it. Right here has become my favorite combo of all. That is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick. That's the 36 inch rod, but guys, that's one of my custom setups. That right there is the Fluger President Micro Series Open Face Reel. And I've not even put line on this rod yet, but that is the Bass Pro Shops Tiny Light Combo. That is the four foot six inch rod. And the whole reason I'm making this video right now is because I'm getting ready to customize another one of my brand new dock runners right here. And I'm gonna be taking off this factory Shakespeare reel. And I'm gonna be installing one of these new, brand new Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite Series open face reels. And I was messing around with one of those in Bass Pro Shops the other day, just right down here in Georgia. And guys, that thing is smooth as can be. I can't wait to get this one set up. And I'm gonna show it all to you right here in just a few minutes. I think by now we ought to just kind of stop this fishing video and turn it into a cooking video. So you got any tips on how to make the perfect bowl of cereal on a Sunday morning, my man? Come on, share it with the world. Don't hold out on us. What goes into making that perfect bowl, brother? Lay it on us. You go, you got to shake it like that. Shake the bowl. I see. Is that a technique you use? What are you laughing at? You got to laugh when you pour the milk. Okay. Laugh and pour the milk and shake the bowl. Laugh and pour the milk and shake the bowl. Laugh and pour the milk and shake the bowl. Get that cereal down in your soul. And then you'll strain it. It'll come out your... Mm -mm. You know where it'll come out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So you got any fishing tips to go along with your cooking tips? Come on, man, we ain't got time for silence. When a question comes, you gotta be ready to spit that fire, brother. Hey. Tell us about which one of them rod and reels is your favorite, my man. Well, right now, yes, it would be just the Shakespeare Ugly Stick one. I do this one a lot. What you talking about, but our custom combo? This one's my favorite, this one's my favorite. We're playing this one to the beat. I said the rod. Which rod and reel you like using the most? This one. Well, also, like the wooden ones. I like this one too. That's where I caught. I always caught the massive fish. Psh, unreal. 
And as I was saying, whenever I first ordered these short fishing rods, I did order the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 model to begin with. Now, this thing has light action. It will literally bend in two, but I have a hard time, like whenever I'm bass fishing, for example, like with this brush hog right here. You know, whenever the uh, you're sitting there, let's just say for an example, and you're watching your line, and you're sitting here just working it or whatever, and then whenever you see your line start getting tight, and then you're winding up, you're getting ready to set your hook. Well, when you go to set your hook, you can just imagine that thing has so much flexibility. I personally have a hard time getting my hook set. Now, don't let that underestimate what this thing can bring in because let me just show you guys really fast just a few of the exciting, amazing memories that we've created while Cayman's been growing up these past few years landing all kinds of fish on this exact rod and reel right here. Walk back towards me. No, 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 towards me over here to the left. No, 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 no. I'll get the net. I'll get the net. Dude, I gotta get the net, man. You just keep fighting it. Keep fighting it, man. Dude, get him, come over this way. Oh, oh man. Uh, oh no, your, your line's gonna get broke. Oh no. Oh no, I got him, dude, I got him. I got him, dude. Dude, I got him. See if you can get him. Get him, dude. Great job, Cayman. Man, dude. You're like a little Bill Dance Jr., man. Wow, what you got there? Have you seen our videos? You're seeing them now. Subscribe if you haven't done so, guys. Leave my little man a comment. Look at him go, dude. Great job getting him out all by yourself. You want me to help you get the hook out so we can release him? Sure. Nice catch, dude. Way to go, man. You're the man, dude. I catch that. Check out what we got in the net on the pink trick worm. Tell him what you just did. Dang man. There you go. Get it out of there, man. Good job, dude. I've got to hold these Need me to help you? Hang on. No, you got to get them by. <laughs> I'll help you, dude. How exciting was that? Show them the uh, rod that you caught that on real quick. Our Shakespeare ice fishing rod. What we like to call our little mini mites. Dude, let's get it off the hook now and get him released. Dude, what do you got, man? Get it up here in the boat. Get it up here in the boat. Let's see it, dude. What do you got, man? Dude, what a big one, man. First one of the day. Good job, dude. What do you got, buddy? A big one. Dude. Dude, let's see. <laughs> My Douglas. God, you got something big, man. Dude. Come on. Don't let go. Of it. Hold that rod like I told you. Put that finger over the front before you drop it. Dude, we got two on. Tyler, Tyler, we got two on over here. Double fish on, double fish on. Grab it, Tyler, grab it. Come on, Cayman. Come on, Cayman. Let's see it, buddy. Keep winding. Keep winding, dude. Damn, you got a whopper, man. Dude. Don't let go of him. Don't let go of that rod. What you got over there, Tyler? We haven't seen it yet. God, we got two fish on. Double action. One on the left and one on the right here. Come on. Who's going to get the fish in first? We've got the drag set so that that... We've got the drag set so they can't break the line on those little bitty ice rods. Got the little mini mite. Come on, son. Get him to the boat. Keep that rod tip up. Keep that rod tip up. Keep that rod tip up. Man. No, not yet. Keep that rod tip up, son. Might be. Oh, he's right here. Oh, it is a catfish, son. It's a catfish. Oh, man. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. Oh, broke the line. Come off right here at the boat. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come One off so we can see if we can get it on try number two. Tyler, if you can hold the boat, I get it with my, or the phone, I get it with my hands. I catched it. Cayman, you hold your rod. I catched it. I'm the one who actually catched it. But I'm the one who, uh, 
casket right there. Oh yeah. Still rolling, Tyler? Yep. Mommy, can, can I hold it? Yep. We got, it's got him unhooked here. Oh, they're strong, man. No. So they're heavy. Those are hard. Mine was a ginormous one. Check it out, dude. Yeah, hold it. Two spines right here. Yeah. See these two things right here? Yeah. Don't let them stick you. Got it? Yeah. Show Tyler what you got. Oh, Show yeah. everybody. Oh, yeah, look at that. Tell them to comment below if they've ever caught a whopper like that one at seven years old. Man, great job, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about it here. So I'm about to throw it back in and say goodbye. Goodbye, catfish. Enjoy your life. Oh yeah, guys. You see that hook? It's always shut. Where? You see that hook? That's one of his whiskers, dude. That's not a hook. You going to release him? I want to eat it. I love catfish. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, that makes sense. Good job, dude. Keep your eye open for snakes, dude. Keep your eye open for snakes. Because you never know where a copperhead may be laying up here on one of these water's edges. Dude, where are we at? We are so lost. You got him on, bud? You got him on? Wine. Let's see him. Dude, you do got him on. Get your rod tip up. Get your rod tip up in there. There you go. There you go. Where's he at? Where's he at, dude? Man, looks like it's a pretty good one. Wine, 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 buddy. Dude, that's a nice one. Keep your rod tip up, keep your rod tip up. Oh, he's hung up on the rocks. Oh, keep your rod tip up. Oh, oh no. Keep your rod tip up, keep your rod tip up, keep your rod tip up. Got him, bud. Got him, bud. Check it out. Dude. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice catch, man. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, man. Looks yeah. like you all this. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Here, you want to get him? Yeah, yeah. Put your, put your thumb in there like mine. I'm no, it's okay. Put your no, put your thumb in there first like mine. Pinch down as hard as you can. Put your thumb in there like mine. Put your thumb in there like mine, son. You're on camera. People are watching you. Take, just sit it down real easy. And put your thumb in there real tight, and you're going to grab him as tight as you can. There's little girls doing this. Two, now squeeze as hard as you can, as hard as you can. You got him? Yeah. I'm going to try to get the hook out for you. Uh, all right, you're, now let's see here. All right, man. There you go. Hold him up. Let's see a picture of you and your new fish. Boom, let me get a picture of you. Bow. Pow, hold him up. Let me see from the side. Like, can you turn him up so you can see how long he is? Nice one, man. Nice one. All right, dude. Let's see the release. Oh, nice. God. Good thing you caught that fish. Sure has sucked being lost all day. That's the first good thing that's happened. All right, watch your footing. Say adios, buddy. There he goes. Was that fun or what? Good job, man. I'm proud of you. And as you can see, we have had a ton of fun with this guy right here. It doesn't take much of a fish at all to really put up quite of a fight. And guys, I would highly recommend it to any beginner fisherman. But once again, just keep in mind, if you're a bass fisherman like myself and you like ripping lips, it ain't very easy to rip them with this one right here. Now, moving on up to the Zepco Dock Demon, this rod is a medium action. And look, if I went to bend that one the way I was just bending the Ugly Stick GX2, this rod would literally break. What I really like about using this rod is the hook set. Guys, with this one right here, dude, you can yank them just like you're using a big rod. It is strong, and I haven't had any fish, you know, put up a match to it, you know, whatsoever. I'm confident that this little rod right here could bring in just about any caliber of fish. And I do like using the rod so much that I actually contemplated customizing one of these and putting a custom reel on it like I've done the dark runner right here and I'm getting ready to do again. But 
I just have a hard time choosing to do that over the dock runner. It has became my favorite combo to use inside the creeks and just to keep in the vehicle because guys, this is a 36 inch rod. You can order <clears throat> this factory combo online, usually for about 15 to $20. Now you need to go ahead and be aware it's a 15, $20 combo. So this reel right here, you know, while it's great, you know, to let a, a new fisherman learn how to, you know, maybe fish with an open face reel, it doesn't really have the casting abilities to get your smaller baits and lures <clears throat> maybe further out like you can do with a reel that's got some true quality to it, like the Fluger or like this Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite that we're gonna be putting on this exact rod here momentarily. And what I really like about using the Shakespeare Ugly Stick rods, guys, this one here is the medium action as well. It does have a bit more flexibility than the Zebco Dock Demon, but keep in mind, this Dock Demon is a shorter rod. Let me hold it up here in comparison to this one. This Dock Demon right here in my left hand is a two foot six inch rod, as opposed to this Dock Runner, which is a 36 inch rod. So once again, you do have a bit more flexibility and you guys are already, if you're into fishing, you already know. These ugly sticks are legendary, man. These things have brought in some monster fish on some very light action setups. But guys, you can take this right here and man, with your way through creek, getting under limbs, you know, trying to go through super tight areas, you can take this with you. You can even stick it like in your pants pocket and stuff. I do that quite often. And man, would you throw one of these Fluger presidents on here, or hopefully like what this Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite Reel is gonna be doing. And man, whenever you go to cast, like even these little tiny lures, like these little beetle spins that I like using so much in the creeks, guys, this is only like the 130 seconds of an ounce, and I could probably cast that thing a good quarter mile. I wouldn't even put it past me to throw it a whole mile. Now, like I was saying, I just ordered this online the other day, the Bass Pro Shops Tiny Light Combo. It said online that it was four foot six inches tall. And if I stand that up right here beside me, as most of you know, flat footed, I'm seven foot three inches. So you can kind of see where it comes up to on me. I thought it may be comparable to some of my other shorter rods that I'd already ordered, but let me hold this up to you and show it to you next to the dock runner that has become my favorite. So there you go. There is the four foot six inch Tiny Light Bass Pro Shops combo right here up top, as opposed to the Shakespeare Ugly Stick 36 inch dock runner with my Fluger President reel on it. Now I am excited to use this, but I want to take it to more like some ponds. I'll even take it out on the boat with us. I'm telling you, for the creeks, you can't beat this one right here. And without further ado, Let's go ahead and get this brand new Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite Reel opened up. Um, Tyler and I, like I said, we went down to Bass Pro Shops about a week ago, maybe a week and a half. I would have bought this in store, but they did not have any in stock. So I did have to order it, and it has taken um, quite a bit of time to get to me. So um, let me get it tightened down here. And then we will get it put on this brand new dock runner setup. Yeah, man, that thing feels smooth. So check that out if you guys can see it on camera. That is the Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite. Does have that uh, like a cool green anodized color right there. And once again, if you will see here, I'm not, I'm not sure if it tells me the model of reel that this comes with other than it just says Shakespeare on it. Maybe this is the Shakespeare USD R30. At least that's what it says on the bottom of the reel right there. So um, if you don't know, I'm assuming everyone knows, but maybe you don't know. So if you don't know how to take a reel off of most rods, this upper part right here just simply, well, usually screws off. You know, you better check your rod first. And once you loosen that, you can simply slide, if you'll notice how that just kind of slides down in there, you can slide it out. So once again, look at that up close. Can you guys see that? Maybe if you're a beginner fisherman. So you can just slide that right out and take your factory reel off and then just take your brand new reel, slide it in the same slot, 
Hold that down with your finger. Slide your upper part back down by tightening back down the screw threads. Let me make sure I've got it in line here. There we go. And you're gonna just get that as tight as you can get it kind of with your fingers. Uh, you've gotta be really, really careful whenever you're as strong as me. Uh, in case you haven't noticed just watching that video, <laughs> I mean, kind of built like, I guess, you know, if Steven Seagal and Van Damme had a kid together, oh, you can have me, baby. So anyways, you gotta be really careful because I would pulverize that and probably just basically strip it, plumb out, maybe even turn it to dust. So now that I've got that secured, God, that is smooth. Man, ah, just thinking about, oh, oh man, oh man. I mean, I can't hardly even think about it, guys. I get to thinking about it, I get lightheaded. Woo, I just wanna go catch some bass, baby. I wanna go get in the water right now. So we do gotta get that brand new reel lined up. We gotta get that new tiny light spooled up. And let me bring you back over here once again really fast and show you in detail a little bit about some of my favorite lures that I enjoy using inside these creeks. Cause I need to give all of you guys a couple notes about these beetle spins that you've been seeing me use. So this one right here is the size that I prefer to use in the creeks. And the reason being is because this one right here will catch literally about anything. And if you'll notice right there, that is the 1 seconds ounce. So that's the 1 seconds ounce as well as that one right there. I've had a lot of success on this 1 16th ounce as well. But look what happened the other day. I made an order and I thought that I was ordering those same smaller models, but I accidentally ordered some quarter ounce. And now, so look at these quarter ounces right here in my hand. And let me uh, just set some of these like, 1 16th and 1 32nd of ounces right here next to them. So look how much bigger they are in comparison. So let me put them side by side for you. So I'm still excited to see what we can catch with those. I'm sure a bass will hit it. But whenever you're using these smaller ones right here, I have literally caught bass, crappie, red breast, green sunfish, shiners. I mean, dude, about every species that we've got around here, I've caught it on that. They really, really, really like these grasshoppers right here. Now, we've got the different grasshoppers. These ones here, they're like shallow running. You can see the lip on it. But where is it at? Where is it at? I just got a brand new one in right here yesterday. This is a popper. So look at that lip. That'll stay on top of the water. Just bloop, bloop, bloop. Whereas if you get the ones, like I said, with this uh, crankbait right here with a lip like that, maybe if you didn't know, that's going to go down and run down and shake as you wind it and get hit on the retrieval usually. So I've also got a couple new top water plugs right here. Look at this frog, I thought that looked really good. I'm excited to try that. And I've also got to do a couple repairs to some of our other grasshoppers where I bent the hooks the other day. Those are size 12 hooks on those smaller lures and I did order some replacement size 12 treble hooks for those. So that's just some of the stuff that I like using inside the creeks guys. And what's cool about it is if you're a fan of aquariums like I am, and uh, you want a freshwater setup, you don't have to have a heater or anything for these native fish. Guys, all they need is a filter. And some of these green sunfish are beautiful. No, my main light has not came on yet. The timer is not set to come on till later in the afternoon. But some of these fish, guys, they are as bright as some of the brightest cichlids that I have ever bought in the fish store. And once again, Every single one of those has came from getting out here and exploring these creeks, usually with my kids, and having some fun fishing, making some memories, and just having something to look at. You know, I think that stuff's cool. I think all of you guys are cool for choosing to join me inside this fishing video that my wife said nobody cared anything about. Hopefully, if you're interested in fishing or taking your kids fishing, then maybe you've learned something about here about some small rod and reel combos that they can use and they can learn how to fish with and hopefully grow up to be a, an angler themselves. Um, I got to get back there and wash those dishes, my wife said, so I got to get to work. I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining me in the video and I can't wait to talk to each and every single one of you inside that next video.